they have become infamous. Sugar-free gummy bears uh, seem like an innocuous treat, uh, but if you'll check the Amazon reviews, which we will, they are actually more like super laxatives. So what turned these innocuous, cute little gummy bears into um, the, uh, diarrhea? It's called <laughs> Maltitol. Blame Maltitol, which is a sugar alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's why it can be sweet, but not actually made of sugar. Is this what we're seeing a lot in sugar-free, uh, like, sodas and candies and... It's a version of it, yeah. you know, and, and they specifically used it in this case, and it basically messes with your digestive tract on the way down. It kind of confuses it, because most of the time, as sugars are going through your intestines, they're getting taken out and into your bloodstream, right? But these sugars stay inside your intestines, and through this power of osmosis, basically, you're trying to, it's a little complicated, but basically the liquids are trying to equalize and get equal amount of this, of this sugar on both sides, so all the liquids flood into your intestines, and then they need to go somewhere, so they, uh, they exit. And Which is really cool. It's really <laughs> unfortunate. So hard to put this delicately. It's really unfortunate for the people who have eaten too many gummy bears. Mm -hmm. But the fact that th this, was, this was initially meant to be you know, a good thing, you want less sugar. Um, and less sugar is in some ways a good thing, but it's sitting there in your stomach because your saliva hasn't broken it down, and it's forcing all this extra water into your sort of digestive system, and that's how you get diarrhea. Too much water in your digestive system. So, um, these reviews are out of control. If you want to read them, there are hundreds, if not maybe a thousand. Uh, what's weird is they vary between being five stars and one star. Because on one hand, it's a great cleanse, y'all. On the other hand, oh my god. Uh, so there's one I have here. Let's see. I'm just going to skip right to the juicy part. Ew. Juicy. juicy. Yeah, you mean no. no. No pun intended. Oh, okay, a little intended. What came out of me felt like someone tried to funnel Niagara Falls through a coffee straw, I swear. Oh my god. I'm going to skip that line. 100% liquid. Flammable liquid. Napalm. And it went on for hours. I had five pounds of these innocent looking, delicious tasting hell bears, so I told my friend about what happened to me and thinking it had to be some type of sensitivity I had to sugar substitute. And in spite of my warnings and graphic description, she decided to take her chances. Take them off my hands. Silly woman. All of the same for her, and a phone call from her while on the tour. Ew, telling me <laughs> she had wished she had listened. I think she was crying. Wow. She probably was crying. Yes. So, so, how much of this is safe for a person? 15 gummy bears. 15, not five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have more than 15 gummy bears, what like, happens? Like, the safe dose is. Uh, uh, something like a third of a gram of maltitol per kilogram of your weight, right? So on average, for the average adult, it's 15 gummy bears. For kids, it's obviously less. Okay. You think you can eat more because they're sugar-free, but you need to eat less. But who eats 15 gummy bears? I that's, don't eat 15 gummy be bears. I usually eat like 25 or 30. I don't know. You're so eating I, twice as many as you ought so to be. So that's why I'm sticking to the sugar ones. I'll, I'll take the sugar over the... Uh, other. But do you know what this reminds me of? Do you guys remember Olestra, the Olean oh, potato no. chips? Oh, those potato chips, yeah. the wow chips? 20 years ago, which is kind of dating us, um, <laughs> yeah, those wow potato 20. chips were, uh, yeah, those Doritos. That Basically, it was this artificial fat called Olestra, and the idea was you don't get any fat. But what it did was cause diarrhea really bad. And they actually had to put a warning label on it saying this will cause loose stools. And when you see those words together, loose stools, you just don't really feel in the mood for potato chips. So On the plus side, if you ever want to dress up like for Halloween as a sea cucumber, all you have to do is eat a whole bunch of these. And then like a sea cucumber, you too can expel your entire insides. It expels its guts out of its very own ring of fire. So do you think the problem here is... What's inherent with a lot of diet foods is like, oh, well, if it's low, I can eat more. I think the problem is that uh, scientific illiteracy, basic, you know, nutritional illiteracy, people need to know more about what they're putting in their bodies mm -hmm. um, and, and, and some basics about how they work. Um, and sugar-free seems like a good sell. Um, yes. And like I said, sometimes it is a good sell, especially if you're, like, diabetic. Um, but you need to know how many you're eating. It's not that you should stay away from sugar-free gummy bears. Oh, I think you should. Always. It's that if you're going to eat them, <laughs> you need to eat fewer than the amount that will make you turn into a sea cucumber. This is, uh, it's 
a dangerous path you walk, my friend. Um, so I think the lesson here is either keep your portions under control or avoid maltitol. And that is why those gummy bears are the worst Satan hell bears diarrhea explosion. What do you think? Let us know below in the comments. Oh, God, no. And please be sure to subscribe. <laughs>